Hi everyone, welcome to Taddy Brothers. Today we're going to talk about our fifth wheel systems. Our fifth wheel systems come with two cameras and a monitor. When deciding what system you want to go with, the first thing you should ask yourself is what kind of monitor you would like to have. Either a 7 inch or a 9 inch, it really just depends on your preference. Either one is good, these monitors are built to last. Now these monitors here also have two inputs, which allows you to switch between camera 1 and camera 2 depending on your uses. You can switch between the two cameras by pushing a button on the monitor or by using the remote control. Anything you could do on the monitor, you could do on the remote control. It really is just a matter of convenience and preference. Now let's get down to the cameras. The first camera you get in the system is a bird's eye view uh, camera. This camera has uh, full color and military grade night vision, which is automatic. The camera is fully waterproof. It's made out of metal and it's extremely durable for extreme weather, rocks, pebbles, whatever it is that it can come across. It even has a sun shield, so if the sun is beaming right on it, you'll still have a great picture if you want to watch this while you're driving down the road. The second camera that you have is the license plate camera. This too is a CCD camera, it's high definition, you can move the lens up and down so you can make it look down at your hitch, depending how you want to do it. And also you have the option of either putting it in the back of your truck or on the uh, top of the truck itself. It really is a matter of preference and configuration that you want. Now, keep in mind when you buy this system, you have a few different options. One of them is that you can upgrade these systems to be wireless. You can have one camera wireless, both camera wireless. It really just depends on your preference. And you could also have them fully functional on battery. So you just basically plug a battery in the back of this thing, a battery in the back of that with the transmitters, and it'll sync up with the monitor in the front. These things go up to 65 feet if you go wireless. In this system here, because it's wired, let me show you how that will work. You get this cable here, take the video, plug that in the back of the camera, and then you get the power. Oops, got the wrong side here. You get the video, plug that here, you get the power, plug that right here. In effect, you have one long video cable, one long power cable. You then thread this thing throughout the whole truck to the back here where you are going to have a coupler or a disconnect depending on how you call it and then you move it up and you move it up to the monitor itself. We supply you with all the cables and all the wiring. The seals are waterproof and they're gold tips so you're going to keep that consistent quality. Put this here. Keep in mind when you fasten this uh, camera here, you have a C-clamp, you have magnets, you have Velcro and you, or you could use screws. It really is just a matter of how you want to customize it and where you want to put this. Same thing with this one here. Like I said, you could put it by the license plate or on top. Next up for the monitor is the mount that it comes with. First, the mount, the standard mount that it comes with is right here. You could either put this on your dash, you can move it left and right, or some people like to stick it upside down so you can wash it while you're driving. It really is a matter of convenience. Also, if you really want to make the monitor more portable, you can get this suction cup mount right here. It has a few more configurations than the original mount. Put that on the window, it won't move. Also, we have a cigarette plug. You can use this to power your monitor and also power the entire system, or you could stick this in the back and power one of the cameras. It really is what you prefer to do. Keep in mind when you wire this system here, you could have the cameras, the camera side power the rest of the monitors, or the monitor power the cameras. It really is how you want to do it. If you have any technical questions or if there's anything you want to know, we could send you instruction manuals. You could see them. We make them here. Or you can call our tech team. They'll gladly assist you with any questions you have. Thank you for watching the video and have a wonderful day.